Hello and welcome to this member interview. Um, I am the Regional Director of the Athena Network in Bedfordshire and St Albans areas in West Hertfordshire and I'm joined here today by the lovely Sam Kamichak from Aegis Financial. Hi Sam. Hello. And Sam is a, a member of our South Beds Athena Network group and was previously in our Woburn Athena group as well. Uh, so it's really lovely to have her back with us uh, with in the fold as a member again in Athena. So that's fantastic. And we do these interviews just to give our members a bit more exposure um, to the wider network because they get to really get themselves known within the network and across groups because they can use their Pass Plus to visit other groups, which Sam's already done, actually, um, even though she's practically only a month, isn't it, that you've been back as a member, that you've already visited a few groups. Um, and so it's great to share that, I think, with the outside world as well and other networks. So. Um, wherever you're seeing this, make sure that you uh, click and interact and, and chat with Sam and get to know her um, and follow and connect and whatever it is. But I'm going to dive right in, Sam, and ask you firstly then. So tell us what you do and how you help people. OK, yeah, I'm a financial planner, which means that I do a whole range of what we call financial planning um, for either individuals or small businesses. Now, financial planning can mean anything from looking at retirement, life insurance, um, looking at different ways that you can meet different goals, setting up um, group policies. So a whole range of different things. But the main thing, just to get to the heart of it, is what do you want to do and how can I get you there? And if I can't get you there, then what's the next best thing? Brilliant. I love that. And I love that from work I've done with financial planners as well. It's that whole we're working, we're working, we're working. And it's like, well, what like having a visual of what that's going to end up looking like if you have your money in the right places and you're all lined up and everything's sort of all ticked and as it should be, isn't it? So that's where your your work really comes in, essentially, Absolutely. doesn't it? Yeah. So I don't want people and coming to me and saying, can you retire, retire now? And I'm saying, no, you can't. Not just yet. <laughs> But how did you, why did you become a financial planner and, you know, what's your, what's your background? Yeah, I, I left university and, and decided that I wanted to um, travel the world. So I ended up being in the Navy for four years. Um, so completely different to obviously what I do now. But uh, I did four years of it, decided it wasn't really for me and started thinking about what to do next. And my dad had been a financial advisor for young since the 90s actually back with the allied dumbbells and the prudentials of the age and uh, he said you know what you, you and I are practically the same person uh, why don't you become an IFA and I thought oh, I, I sh maybe maybe not I'm not sure but I um, looked into it more started doing the qualifications because you have to give a year's notice in the Navy and uh, so got partly qualified and uh, left and was lucky enough in 2009 to manage to get a trainee power planning role, which is a power planner is basically like an assistant to an advisor. And then did that for a bit and worked my way up to advisor. So yeah, all due to my dad. So thank you, dad, if you're ever watching this. I love this and I really hope he does. But And the fact that you were in the Navy before, I just think that's so cool as well. We've spoken before about that, I love it. And, and aside from that, so you're a mum as well, you've got yeah. the kids, yeah. Yeah, I've got twin, boy-girl twins, so it's a busy day in my life. Busy day. And and your, so Aegis is the new company you're with, is That's that right? That's right, yes. Fantastic. And so you, you're at, you've actually come back to Athena, so you've just, so both times, why did you join Athena, particularly this time, because you've come back? I, I've really enjoyed networking, um, especially with women. I find that women networking groups are very supportive of each other and that's something that I, I wanted to have especially going back to self-employment again and um, I I like the fact that you have past plus as well I, as you said I've, I've already taken advantage of it it grows your network very very quickly it's included in your membership anyway so you, as long as you're not locked out as you probably already told people several times then you can go to as many meetings as you like and I've already made some great people and some great contacts it's such a good point and people love that bit because you're not you're not having to pay extra to go to extra meetings but you can it's almost as if you've got 
several groups you're a member of if you sort of strategically visit every now and then don't you yeah so do go Absolutely. back to those groups you've visited and build on those relationships as long as no one else has taken your spot um I was going to ask you what benefits you found about being part of Athena for your business so far, but the past plus you've, you've just answered the question. So that's Absolutely. great. Yeah, the last time I was a member, I wasn't able to take advantage of all the benefits as much because I was doing so much other stuff as well. So this time I can really focus on Athena and make it work for me and also the people in it, because obviously I want to give back as well. I was going to say that actually because we're talking about benefits but we've benefited from having you in the network as well because of how you share what you share you've got a talk coming up haven't you um you're speaking next month in your group the South Birds group what's the topic again uh divorce and uh, how financial planning can help absolutely and women often don't aren't the ones who go and get the financial advice so I think that's it's great input that you give to us as a network as well so it goes both ways um, so what tips do you have for someone who's um, looking to start their business or anything? No, have a real plan. Know exactly what you want to do before you start. Otherwise, you can you can flail around trying everything and anything and end up running around in circles and doing nothing. Um, know your target audience. Know what you want to earn. Be realistic. You're not going to be earning loads in the first year or two. And also just have a support network around you and you'll get that from networking and also family and friends. And just believe in yourself because anyone can do it if you want to, as long as you put the hard work in. Absolutely. Someone once said to me, I think, no one's going to believe in you more than you believe in yourself sometimes. Absolutely. So you've in it or in what you're doing. So you you must absolutely have belief. And um, what's next for you and the business then? I'm planning to I'm quite passionate about uh, giving financial advice to, to the masses because it's an area that a lot of people think, oh, that's that's just for rich people. And I don't agree with that. Even if it's just you know five, ten minutes of my time, maybe over social media, maybe over the phone or whatever, I, I'm quite passionate in bringing financial advice to as many people as possible because it's so important and a lot more important than people think it is. Absolutely. I concur. Because when I first, when I started networking in, I heard of financial advisors. In fact, I, heard, I first met my first financial advisor while I was still in corporate before I started running networking or going to networking. And um, I really didn't get why. Well, same thing. It, the perception is, oh, if you have money, you need a wealth planner or a financial advisor. But actually, no, we, we all have and use money. It's how we're going to use it and how we're going to plan for retirement and having all your bases covered. So, um, yeah, I, I definitely love that. And how can people interact with you? Uh, would you have a call to action for people? Uh, interact with me. I'm on LinkedIn and that's about it. I'm working on it. I will be on social media soon. Um, get in touch with you, obviously, if they want to have a chat with me. Um, call to action is just have half an hour with me um, I'm more than willing to have a chat with anybody who just has generic questions the burning questions pain points anything like that um, see if I can help I've, I've had a few recently this week where it's not gone into business for me but they said thank you so much you put my mind at, at rest because I just wanted to talk to someone who knows what they're doing and I'm more than willing to do that so uh, just my yeah. call to action is please talk to me I'm more than happy to Exactly. It's not about trying to sell people a product like you say, it's trying to make sure that people are aware and are plan have a plan in place. And if they already have and that's not with you, then that's fine. But you were at least able to guide them um, subjective objectively. We say objectively, don't we? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you wouldn't go into a shop and say, I want an outfit. And then you just pick one off the shelf and give it to you. There's a lot more in involved in it. So you know, your life is a lot more complicated than picking out an outfit. So. Absolutely. Totally. Thank you so much for your time, Sam. It's been really great to get to know you a bit better and share a bit more about what it is you do. I'm looking forward to our next Athena meeting that you'll be attending. Um, and thank you for watching everybody today uh, or whenever you're watching this, if you're catching up afterwards, um, Sam's details are going to be on this. So uh, yeah, do click and connect with her. And if you'd like to uh, find out a bit more about what that past plus thingy was and what our meetings are, then uh, ping me as well and we'll get you booked in. Um, thanks for very much. Take care. Thanks, Sam. Thank you. Bye.